sitting there. Well, it's the most romantic day in a couple's life, but it can also be the most expensive, their wedding day. From the dress to decorations, food to flowers, everything comes at a cost. Casey Silver reports how to make your big day memorable without breaking the bank. Think outside the square and try and bring that figure down. literally save thousands. It's the most important day in a couple's life. It can also be the most expensive. I've heard of people spending, you know, 50, 80, 100 grand on a wedding, which really at the end of the day for one day is just crazy. Stylist and mother Christy Blizzard is taking the burden off brides and their budgets. I think if you're really quite frugal with your money and you look at your budget, you can definitely have it and then some. Tonight, the top tips to make your day memorable for all the right reasons. You'll end up regretting your wedding day for the rest of your life and literally paying for it. First off, plan where you're going to be spending your money. You don't want to get caught unaware and as soon as you get let loose with a credit card in a shop, all of a sudden everything can look really beautiful and perfect. Christy says pick out your colour scheme and stick to it. If your colour's pink but you like a feather that's purple, don't buy it, it's not appropriate and it's just a waste of money. Save hundreds and make your own invitations. At the end of the day, it's pieces of paper and you don't even get to keep them and people throw them in the bin at the end of the day, which is really sad. Invites can range from $4 a head right up to 50. By doing them yourself, they can cost as little as 20 cents a piece. Look, if you can make your own invitations, most people these days have access to a computer and a printer and there's so many good stationery shops around, paper boutiques and things like that. I think I've saved quite a lot doing it myself, definitely. Bride-to-be Melissa Chapel has said yes to Christie's styling services. So we've done all the invitations, we've done all our centrepieces that we've made out of jars and bottles. But before the I do's, there's a few things to do. Once a month, the ladies of the wedding party get crafty, designing DIY decorations. It's more fun to do everything yourself and be really involved in your wedding, opposed to getting someone else to do everything for you. And when the big day finally arrives, all Melissa needs to do is show up. She's going to do it all on the day, so it'll be really good, and I trust her. Set it up. If the bride wants me to, I can send her a photo so she can relax that little bit more as well. Melissa says it was the flowers that were a real budget blower. Not everyone can afford to go to the best florists in Perth and, you know, ha and have that sort of thing. So get frugal with your flowers and try wholesalers. I'm talking flowers that might you know, might otherwise cost you $100, $150 for a bouquet. You might be able to pick up for $10, $15 for a, for a whole bunch. But if that's still too much, Christie's creation is basically free. I'm just going to make uh, a little paper flower. So just using newspaper, literally out of the letterbox. Take me a couple of minutes and save you thousands of dollars. All right, go for it. Christy, the flowers are sorted, what's next? Okay, we're just going to work on a centrepiece, so just taking some old recycled wine bottles, beer bottles, soak the labels off and make candle holders. Recycled bottles, cans and jars can be creative centrepieces and even wedding favours. You could do a chutney for the guys and a nice strawberry jam for the ladies. Buying a dress online is becoming a common trend, but it comes with risks. My only advice is if you buy 